Today we are assembling the S1000 octocopter with the A2 flight controller. It is the latest and greatest in professional aerial photography and cinematography. It includes folding arms for easy transportation and retractable landing gear for a 360 degree view for the camera mounted underneath. Let's assemble. For assembly today, we are going to use Loctite and a two and a two and a half millimeter hex. The first step is to assemble the landing gear. The clamp on the landing gear has a notch that we need to align with the grooves on the leg. Once the screws are loosened, we are going to insert the leg. Make sure the sticker is at the top and facing the same direction as the head of the screws. So go ahead and insert the leg and you want to make sure it's all the way down and secure. Give it a little bit of a twist and if it doesn't move, that's exactly where you want it. To secure the leg to the base, we're going to use the M3x8 screw, the one with the Loctite on it. When you take a look at the clamp, you can see that one side of it is thinner than the other one. Enter the screw into the thinner side Use your two millimeter hex. Okay, so to complete the landing gear assembly, we need to add the spring. One side of the spring is going to have an R shape. Let's use the non R shaped side and attach it to the leg. I'm going to use it, the R shape to attach to the cord. If you hold down further, it's a little bit easier to pull the spring down. Motors, ESCs, and arms come assembled like this. We have two different colors and two different types. The red colors are going to go into the front of your octocopter, and the black will fill out the rest. So our motors are labeled. We have counterclockwise and clockwise, and they are clearly labeled counterclockwise. We have arranged it so that our counterclockwise are all arranged over here, and our clockwise are on the other side. And don't forget to add your heat shrink to your power lead. Before we assemble the arms, let's add a little Loctite to the thread to the left side. All right, so now let's attach our counterclockwise red to our M1 base using the M4 by 35 bolt and a an 2.5 millimeter hex. Next is our clockwise to the M2. So feed your power cable through the clamp and then lift the arm but make sure you don't crush any cables and then lock into position. Okay so let's take our power lead and connect it to our power distribution board. Go ahead and make sure your heat shrink is toward the tip and feed it through here, you will see a pole. You're gonna wrap it around the pole and underneath itself. And then once it's in, move your heat shrink to cover. Now that all the power leads are connected and the heat shrink is covering the connectors, it's time to add some heat. Okay, so the final step to assembling the frame is to add the folding GPS mount. We're going to remove the screws and to untighten these we need the two millimeter hex. To loosen up the screws, hold up the plastic underneath. Use your two millimeter hex and unscrew. To mount this we're going to need longer screws. We're going to keep one screw in but we're going to replace one with a two and a half by 6.7 screw. We're going to do it one at a time. Okay. 
me use our 2.0 hex again. So once we've got that one locked in, let's unscrew the outer one. And we're going to replace this one with a longer screw as well. Thank you for watching. I'm Kim from Control Me, your multi-rotor specialist.